And since then, even before learning about Stoicism, I took a little bit of this premeditatio malorum to heart because I learned the hard way through regret that you got to tell people you love them. You may not get another chance. You got to show them that you care about them. You got to you got to show them how much they mean to you. You may never get another chance again. And so I now more freely share I love yous with family members and and uh, and uh, try to show them what they mean to me uh, because I learned the hard way that the unexpected will happen. So the Stoics advise that we do this technique on a regular basis and contemplate the loss of goods, loved ones, and even our own life to prepare ourselves for the end of our own existence so that it will not... Uh, uh, strike us as unpredicted, we'll know it was going to happen, we'll be prepared for it. But I recommend, you know, once again, not starting with the big stuff. Thinking about your children dying or your own death is not a good way to start these sorts of techniques. Maybe you'll never even get to that point, but that's fine. We're trying to improve our lives. We're not trying to become sages here. Now, what I recommend is starting small. Prepare yourself for the drive to work, or putting up with annoying people in the office. Don't assume that the drive to work will be flawless. People are going to cut you off. You won't make that green light. It's going to turn red before you get to it. Someone's going to walk out in front of you. Whatever it may be, stuff will happen. Don't let it get under your skin. I've started doing this, and, and I'm not perfect at it. I still get mad. But I've noticed I return to calm much faster, and I hold on to the anger for only a short period of time before it's gone again. Whereas before, I might have been thinking about it for hours and hours. So, <laughs> not perfect, but it does help. And if nothing happens on the way to work, you'll say, oh, well, that was a pretty good drive today. You can be appreciative of the fact that everything went well. So try this out. Try out premeditatio malorum and uh, see if you can stay calm in the storm. Carpe diem.